Matthew chapter 1 and verse 2, reading from the King James Version or the Authorized Version. Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judas and his brethren. In the modern world, we live in a world of change. I can remember shopping for groceries at A&P. Or, for that matter, shopping for groceries at Safeway in Western Canada. AMP at one time was, the I think, the largest grocery chain in the world. As far as I'm concerned, it's no more. Safeway in Western Canada, well, that was bought out by a Canadian company. If you live long enough, you understand how store chains come and go. They may be dominant for a time, and one day they are gone. A shell of what they once were. There is a lack of permanence in our modern world. When Matthew penned his genealogy, he stood two millennia from the time of Abraham and the patriarchs. In Matthew 1 2, we have the patriarchs listed as the ancestors of Jesus. In the days of the ancient world when technology was less advanced, change also occurred. It may not have occurred at the same speed as today, but it still happened. In the 2,000 years or so since from the time of Abraham to Jesus, even slow change, change becomes profound and pronounced. I think there was a tendency in Jesus' day to see Abraham as a great Jew. The reality that it was that Abraham was not Jewish. Now, what I mean is that the markers of what made the people Jewish were later, much later. The food laws, these were from the times, time of Moses. The monarchy, this was from the time of Saul. The Jewish diaspora, this was from the time of the Babylonian sack of the city of Jerusalem. So the question becomes, in what way was there continuity from the patriarchs to Jesus? This was an important question for the early church. There are two basic answers to it. You can see we can define Judaism by physical descent. We can understand this approach. It is easy to say, I am Jewish because of my ancestors. The second approach to the answer is to put the link on a spiritual connection. The fork in the road that separated the early church from Judaism in the first century was here. The early church saw Abraham as a model of the faith. And here you can think of Paul in Romans chapter 4. And thus, the link of Christians with Abraham is found in the embrace of faith. Judaism in the first century saw the, the experience of faith linked with ethnicity. Each group, the early church and the first century movement of Judaism, went their separate ways. I write at a time which is almost 2,000 years since the birth of the church. We, like the first century descendants, face a fork in the road. We can identify the faith with cultural markers and a continuity with the past. Be it identifying with the See of Rome, the Pope, the glories of the Orthodox liturgy, the Westminster Confession of Faith, or the street missions of mid-19th century American uh, rescue missions. And in the same way, we can in the process lose sight of what the faith is. Change comes whether we like it or not. Jesus did not come to embrace a cultural heritage or a religious ethnicity. Jesus' link with the patriarchs comes ultimately in the idea of embracing the call of God on one's 
life. You see, the church and the life of the church can be anything but this. So the true heirs of the patriarchs are those who hear the call of God and they follow that call where it takes them.